spaghetti squash can be an enigma to many. It was to me not too long ago. I mean, how on earth do you make it look like spaghetti? If you think it takes too long, I'll show you how to safely microwave it so that you can have it in minutes. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to microwave some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Remove any stickers that may be on the outside of the squash. A corn cob holder is the perfect thing to poke holes into the rind. I do about six across. In the middle holes, carefully use a knife to pierce all the way through to allow steam to escape and prevent a squash explosion. Make sure the steam holes are facing up and microwave two to three minutes. Remove the squash and carefully pierce the holes with a knife since the rind will be considerably easier to work with. Microwave an additional three to six minutes depending on the size of the squash. You can check for doneness by pressing the skin. When there is sufficient give to it like this, it's ready. Let it cool for about three minutes. Using a sharp knife and a paper towel, cut the squash in half. Scoop out the seeds and either throw them away or roast them like pumpkin seeds if you're feeling motivated. With a fork, begin scraping the sides of the squash and the noodle-like strands will pull from the rind. Yep, looks like spaghetti! Add the squash to a large bowl and separate the strands so they're not in clumps. If you want a sweet version of this dish, you can drizzle some honey and add some pumpkin pie spice to your liking and give it a good toss. But for this version, we're going to use one to two tablespoons of olive oil, one ounce of shredded hard cheese, and a bulb of roasted garlic. Drizzle the olive oil over the squash. I like a bit of fresh ground black pepper, then give it a toss. Take your roasted garlic and squeeze it over the top of the squash. Mash it around a little to even it out and then give it another toss to distribute the garlic evenly. Transfer it to a serving bowl, season with your favorite spices, and grate some of your favorite cheese over the top. A nice hard cheese like Parmesan or Asiago is a perfect complement. It looks like spaghetti naturale, but I will say it doesn't completely fool my palate. If you need a little bit of a pasta feel to it, add two ounces of cooked whole wheat pasta to the cooked whole squash. Roasted garlic spaghetti squash is filling enough to be a whole meal for two with this recipe, or you can divide it into four and top your salads or have it as a side. It's a great dish to have if you're looking to cut carbs and the options for seasoning it to your taste are endless. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell under the video to be notified when new videos are live from Mrs. Kringle's Kitchen.